And welcome now to Popper Bluff Mules Baseball. Joining me right now, it is the pregame show, and joining us is the head coach of Popper Bluff, head coach John David Patillo. And coach, it is SEMO conference time yet again, this time about an hour north of Popper Bluff here at Notre Dame High School. Give me your first thoughts between the Mules and the Bulldogs of Notre Dame. Well, I think uh, this will be a good matchup with both of us. I think we're comparable in a lot of ways. Uh, it's a team that we haven't seen yet, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I think, uh, you know, we're going to pr probably face their number two today, and we'll have Bratcher going for us today. You know, going back to this past weekend, the Mules saw some really good competition, Class 6 schools. I thought we held our own. What were your thoughts on the way home from Lake of the Ozarks this past weekend? Well, you know, we kind of reverted those last couple of games. We had a couple of big innings where we allowed things to kind of – um, kind of swell on us, uh, for lack of a better word, and and uh, a couple innings there and really hurt us in those games. And but we definitely can keep compete with all those schools, and that's a good thing. Looking at this matchup here today on paper, coach, it looks like it's very evenly. They're coming off a win yesterday, right here at home against New Madrid. They won 14 to four by talking to their head coach. They told me they did not play the game very well yesterday. And, of course, they want to come out today and, and go 500 here in the conference. How big will it be for you and this team to go 4-0 to begin this conference season? Well, it's important. It's important to us in the way, in the fact that we kind of setting ourselves up for, you know, the conference tournament. But in, in reality, it's another step in, you know, what we do. And, and I think our kids understand that, you know, Notre Dame is going to be – probably a top three or four team no matter what in our conference and uh, uh, you know a lot of it depends on how things go today. It's amazing how last season coach we didn't really play on natural grass services and this year it's about all natural grass grass all the time it seems like. Well here lately definitely we've been playing on a lot more and uh, we played on we really didn't play on grass until we got down to yeah. Alabama. Yeah. We're getting ready to do infield and so it uh, we'll get to see how the ball bounces on on everything. So Bratcher will be on the mound. Off, we're pretty well going back to what we've been normally having Dylan leading off, and uh, our pretty much a usual lineup. Uh, we Match up here. The CMO conference is going to begin here in a couple of weeks, and the weather-wise, we might see a little bit of light rain. I got the O tent ready to go just in case. Yeah, we we're. Expecting that, we know that there's a good chance between four and five that we'll get a little bit of rain. But, you know, field looks good, looks playable. You know, I don't see us having too many, too many issues with the field at all. A couple more questions. Pitch count here this afternoon for Bratcher. I know coming up on Friday, another big matchup at home against Cape Central. What's your thoughts on the pitch limit here today? Well, the big thing is, is you know, if you probably uh, uh, look to some of the other guys for Friday's game. And so um, – if we go above 75, that's a possibility, and that's fine. Uh, we got to win this game, and that's what's important. All right, Coach. We'll sum it all up to go 4-0 here this year in the conference. In your mind, what's it going to come down to to beat Notre Dame and get that win number 11 on the season? I think the big thing is, is we just don't have the big blow-up inning. Uh, we'll play play well and, and uh, throw the ball around, and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be in good shape. All right, Coach, best of luck to you. Go get them. We'll see you guys afterwards. All right, thanks. You betcha. What we're going to do is we're going to see if we can interview Coach, or I should say Josh Mills. He is with FCA. Now, Josh Mills, for those who don't know, I've known Josh Mills for a long time. We'll let Tim on to Josh Mills, and he is with FCA. And the cool thing is about Josh Mills, when we decided that today we were going to try to come up here and we were going to stream napping, I called my buddy Josh up and I said, hey, I said, what are your thoughts here? Can you help us out with possibly maybe a tent? Could you help us out with maybe with maybe something that, you know, well, you know what? I'll let Josh kind of tell you what we did because this guy is the real deal. I want to welcome you guys in with Josh Mills here with FCA also a coach here at Notre Dame High School had done for us to make sure that uh, we were going to be able to broadcast this game. And you helped me out with a tent. You helped me out with a table and chair. You got the Notre Dame shirt. I got the mule shirt on. But at the end of the day, parents and all the stuff broadcast back. 
See there? Come on, Coach Matthews. You got you got to clean that up, my friend. We're live on TV here. No, I was gonna say I was gonna say let's talk about first off Notre Dame. You guys were coming in a very good baseball team, eight and four. You guys are two and one in the conference right now. Um, trying to figure out exactly what our identity is as a team, um, but playing well, we've got some good uh, some good kids coming up to lead. We got some seniors that have got some good ability to play and. Um, today against the Paul Bluff Mules that are going strong too, so it'll be a good well, let, game. Let me ask you, what's it like putting on your coaching hat back on plus doing FCA? Because as we all know, FCA is so big right now in Southeast Missouri and athletics in general. I mean, I'll tell you, Frankie, this has been crazy. I've got two kids playing over here myself, and um, it's been good for me to be able to spend good time with them because um, I'm constantly in 14 years of ministry been able to pour into other people's kids, uh, which I love doing, but I've got a chance. Coaches um, that I coach alongside has been a blessing. Uh, assistant coach I've got over here, I got to baptize him and his nice. two boys the other day. Um, so God's been at work uh, doing things. This wasn't anything that I had really on my radar, but here we are, and you know God provided an opportunity. And so um, get to spend some good time with some guys at the ball field doing what I love. And here you guys got the uh, the table set up for me, the tent set up for me, the youngsters that came out with the tent. I mean, they set it up for me. B team that. Man, they're just born leaders, and it's awesome to see them step up and do things. Um, but that's all come from Coach. Man, Coach Lawson's instilled that in these guys to serve and to love others well um, and then compete with everything they've got. And so that's what it challenges us every day. This program has been in the, in the past, and Coach Gravett left us in good hands, and we're just trying to take that and just steamroll with that. So TJ Bolin here will get the start for you guys. And give me the inside scoop here. What can we do to uh, knock around TJ a little bit and get him off his rhythm. What do you think, Coach? And there's one thing about TJ <laughs> that I love is his uh, uh, good lineage there with the Bowling family that's done, that's run the Kappa Hole program sure. for years. Um, and TJ's a gamer, and I, I would expect really good things out of him today. He'll go deep in the game. Uh, usually got some pretty good movement on his stuff, and uh, swings a good bat too. Can we, Tim, just pin out here. I want you to turn around here, Coach, and look. It looks like you guys haven't even had to touch it. It looks amazing. It's all that guy right there. I'm going to tell you what, Coach Lawson, he comes out here about 1 o'clock every day after he gets off of work. He goes years that I've seen, um, and he's just meticulous with it. It's awesome to be able to even play baseball today. I didn't think it would happen, Frankie. I, yeah, you told me on the phone today. You're like, well, you hang, hang back for a few minutes. It may not take place, but, man. boring about five minutes that way and not raining here when everything was getting washed over there it was fine out here this way have done for me and best of luck to you guys today and i know we're wearing different shirts but at the end of the day <laughs> it's about these athletes and it's about the good lord above providing for us and everything that we do right and you guys man these coaches over here at bluff you can't say enough about them i've, co I've actually coached with coach beast coach patilla helps with our fca math it's i know these guys well and Got some great kids that I've had. This game starts between those white lines. We It's enemy fire. So That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, Coach, thank you so much for the opportunity. Best of luck to you guys today and going forward. Coach. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate right. it. You betcha. Josh Mills here joining us live with FCA. We appreciate him and everything that he does for this for this group of kids here for Notre Dame and Popper Bluff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to a quick three-minute timeout. And we'll come back and we'll introduce you to our teams and we will get set for the opening pitch. Bottom of the hour, we've got cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid to a 10 over our table. So as long as we get no thunder, no lightning, we should be good to go. So let's take a three minute.
Now, until we begin the opening pitch, and I'm so glad to welcome you back in to our pregame show as we are moment. And he is one of the assistant coaches for the Bulldogs. We've known him a long time, and we appreciate the opportunity. But I'm telling you, without his cooperation, we would not be able to be here today, at least broadcasting underneath the tent and right here next to the field. We are set up right between third base and home. And right now, we and Coach. Patillo as we get ready to bring you a Popper Bluff Mules baseball. Joining us here for the ball game, or at least I think he'll be joining me for the ball game. I've got Brandon Spain who is with us. Good to see you making the trip to Popper or to Cape. It was my dad gonna be here? Well, I don't know, Noah. You tell me if your dad's gonna be here or not. Is that true? That is true. He really asked that? He really did. But to make sure that you were gonna be on the air today. I mean, he asked me that during the trip to uh to the um Lake of the Ozarks. I had to think for a We've been so many places here the last few weeks. We've been it's, on the road. It, it's hard to keep No, after today in the CMO Conference. That would be huge. Yeah, it's going to be a, a great ball game, a big opportunity for the Mules right now to get out here and get another CMO Conference win. But Notre Dame is no joke. They're they're for real. Uh, they're well coached. Um, you got to know their coach a little bit over this past winter and uh, really like him a, a lot. And just being around him, listening to, to him uh, communicate. And anyways, you know, um, big win over Farmington, I believe. Yep. And, uh, you know, Farmington's uh, the real deal this year as well. And so um, they're coming They're coming to play. And so it's a, a great opportunity for us right now, though, to hopefully go 4-0. I will say that, you know, it's very nice to always be up in the press box and watching sun's not shining to sit out between home and third base near our dugout and watch our boys up close and personal. It, absolutely. And and the really cool effect of being where we're set up right now, just how, how the coaches are keeping our boys fired up, how they're keeping each other encouraged and fired up. And so uh, it's, a, it's a really cool setup. I've never been to this to this school. And so uh, I think at Bluff last year. So uh, beautiful facility, great setup out here. Absolutely, and we are excited that you are with us as well. So moments away from the first pitch here this afternoon between Bluff and Notre Dame. The Mules are coming in 10-5. and five. We are 3-0 in the CMO Conference. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs of Notre Dame are coming in 8-4. and four. They are 2-1. and one in the CMO Conference. Also coming up here today, I will go over the CMO seat. Graham Spain is tuning in. Who is Graham Spain? Brandon? Oh, man, that's that's my middle son. Your Graham. middle son? Yep. Oh, he, Graham. Duh. Yeah. It, I've had, not, it's not going to get to uh, be able to play this afternoon, but, uh, you know, they're, they got a big tournament coming up this. Coming up and so much more as we continue live right here. We're going to stay here because we are moments away from the first pitch here this afternoon between the Mules and the to bring you a Popper Bluff Mules baseball. Can't wait for this one to begin. And let's go ahead now and talk about our opening lineups here today. Let's start with the number five, Brett Dohan. He is a junior in right field. It is number 18, Jack Evans. And let or make that right field is Jack Evans. Center field, Brett Dohan. Left field is Channing Pattengill, a junior. Where's number nine? And then let's talk about the infield here this afternoon. Let's go to third base here. Number 11, Hunter Bonham. He is a junior for the but Chase Lawson, a sophomore at first base. Number four, Reed Morgan, who is a junior. And behind the plate, it is Bryson Clark. At the moment, he is the starting pitcher here this afternoon for the Bulldogs out of Notre Dame. And I was saying some of those names, and you were kind of shaking your head like, 
some talent there in that defensive lineup here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, they're uh, they're, they're uh, really the whole season, and uh, so uh, boys are. Uh, uh, I'm assuming are, they were thinking they were going to get their names introduced. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Taking here. off, running off to their positions right there. So, so what we'll do is we're going to stay here. Our father, Lord, how will be thy name? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. National Anthem, and of course, we are just moments away now from the opening pitch here this afternoon of our defensive lineup here for the Bulldogs. What about the offensive lineup for your Poplar Bluff Mules? Here we go, leading off for the Mules, the center fielder, number two, Dylan Hall. He, the catcher is number 12, Bryce Dobbs. Batting cleanup at first base, number 16, Kate Huffman. He is a sophomore batting fifth here this afternoon. The second baseman, number one, Marcus Tabanelli. The pitcher today, number 15, Dylan Bratcher. Batting eighth at shortstop, number four, Miles Johnson. Batting ninth at left field, number three, Rylan on the season. Brandon, he is two and one so far this year. Earn run average of 2.188. He has pitched 16 innings. He is young season. And now those are the numbers, and that means we've got one more thing left to do, and that is throw out that first pitch. Yep, I'm ready. Let's get it going. Let's get it going indeed. You're watching us live on Facebook, also on Radio 93.3 FM, 9.30 AM, KWOC, streaming online, KWOC.com. I know Tim was telling me earlier on we were having a little bit of issues with our video quality. We are on the road here at Notre Dame. They don't have the uh, great internet service we're used to up here, but that's okay. We're going to get through it, and I told Tim, if it gets too bad, just pull the plug. Yep, there you go. we got to do something, right? That's right. The winds are picking up here as we get ready for the opening pitch. It is 432. He's Brandon Spain. I'm Frankie Castile, and 66 degrees here at game time. So now Dylan Hall going to step in. He is batting 349 on the season, eight RBIs for the Mules. If I could get Greenwald to step to his left, maybe a little bit low. So here we go now as we are underway. We had that issue back in uh, back in Lake of the Ozarks, too. You know, I, I thought I saw him standing there, and I was like, I was thinking about the command that you had at Lake of the Ozarks as I was listening, and, and you were just – you would tell them, and they would just they, they would, would just, just do it. They would just glide over. And we have liftoff here in Notre Dame. It is now two balls and one strike here to the Mules' leadoff man. There it is, fouled away. And outs that are set in the ground, so everything's open. That that chopper right there could go. They did. It went straight into the absolutely. Out. So, and just like that, one pitch or another pitch and a strike out there. So one down here in the top of inning on the season thus far. He's got one home run, 13 RBIs, and this one has popped up toward right field. This one's going to get so far here this season. He's got eight extra base hits, including six doubles, or make that two doubles, rather. He's got three triples and one home run so far this year. Greenwald played that one just right. He'll really have a one-out hit. Great job to go opposite field right over the first base and no man's land right there. So one. 
Miss Dom says, don't you dare pull the plug. A little bit glitchy, but that's okay. And we apologize for that, too. We really do. We hate having. Uh, he works his way onto the on deck. He is the catcher here this afternoon for the Mules, batting 385. So now Huffman. So one ball and no strikes here. Runner on first base. It is a 1-0 count. Here in the top of inning number one. Runner takes off. It's a hit and run. They're not going to get the runner at second. And Greenwald's going to try for three. And he is out at third base. And it is a double play, unconventional double play. And we're going to go to the bottom of inning number one. No score as we come back here in 30 seconds on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. So it took just nine pitches there in at the top of inning number one. And just like that, Brandon, the Mules are retired. And now the Mules come out on defense. We'll see what Bratcher can do in the bottom of inning number one. Well, you know, we obviously had a hit and run called on that on that last one right there. And Bryce, you know, put it right down third baseline. And Colby tried to stretch it uh, a little bit, but got caught up here in, at third base. But, you know, now we've got big country on the mound for us today and uh, no one better right now to hopefully bring home another conference win for us. So well, let's get right into the numbers here. Speaking of a big country, the offensive lineup here for the Bulldogs, Logan Londaway. He'll bat first. He'll be the leadoff man at shortstop batting second. The pitcher is T.J. Bolin batting third. The catcher is Bryson Clark batting cleanup is right fielder Jack Evans batting fifth at first base. Number four, Reed Morgan batting sixth. At left field, at Channing Panagill batting seventh at center field. At Brett Dohan batting eighth at third base. It is Hunter Bondman. And at batting ninth here at second base, it is at Chase Lawson, a sophomore. Now looking around the defense here for Popper Bluff in left field. At number three, Ryland Season Good. At center field is Dylan Hall. Right field, Kobe Greenwall. Around the infield here this afternoon. At third base is Noah Spain. At second base here today, it is Marcus Tabanera. Shortstop, Miles Johnson. First base is Cade Huffman behind the plate. It is Bryce Dobbs on the mound for the Mules. It is Dylan Bratcher making his sixth start on the season. He is 3-1 and one this year. Earned run average of 2.136, 19 and two-third innings. 19 hits, 15 runs, six of them earned. He's walked eight, struck out 31. So here we go now as we get ready, swing and a foul tip, and we are underway here in the bottom of inning number one. Guess who else made their way to the ballpark here today, Mr. Brandon? I know this guy pretty well these days. This one's fouled away. It is oh, no balls and two strikes here. You might know him, though. I'm not sure if you do or not. Yeah, well, I'm going to assume you're talking about my father. I was going to say, Paul Spain is with us here today from t Tennessee. That's Glad right. to have him alongside. Did he enjoy the eclipse on Monday? He sure did. He sure did. Uh, he said he's going to save his glasses until the next one, and then someone reminded him he'd probably be in his 90s. So. We'll nah, see. we'll see. You know, he, 90 is the is yesterday's 21. <laughs> two ball, make that one ball, two strikes here. As Logan Londaway, the leadoff man, two balls and two strikes here. Londaway, by the way, coming in batting 341 this season, no homers and six RBIs. He has also drawn four walks and struck out four times so far this season. It is two balls and two strikes here. Here is the next pitch on the way by the senior Bratcher. There's a ground ball hit sharply. It's going to gobble up Miles Johnson. And just like that, that's how the Mules begin. And I believe that one, we'll see how they score that one. 
believe it's going to be an E6. Yes, it is. So the Mules will see how they react to uh, this particular issue with a quick air here by the Mules early on. Yeah, obviously that ball came in again, playing on natural grass. And uh, it, it looks like there's even a lip out there where it goes from grass to dirt. So you got to be careful how you play that. But we still have the double play ball in effect right here. So TJ Bolin going to get it to uh, Dylan Bratcher and Bratcher over to first base in time. One away here in the top of inning number one. Good job there by TJ Bolin trying to help his own cause and now gets the runner in scoring position. So now it's going to go 1 3 on the out. Londaway now moves over to second base. And now coming up to the plate now, it is Bryson Clark for the Bulldogs. Uh -huh. Clark here this season batting 419. Good lead by Londaway there at second base. First pitch is in there for a called strike. Good nice pitch. pitch. All speed right there. Broke it right inside. You've been practicing getting your uh, your on-air voice ready to go for Saturday, Brandon. Not one, not two, but three ball games you've got to be uh, doing the mic on. Uh, yep, I've been hitting that, you know, hot tea and honey. And no, you need some, I, I you really, need some ginger? Really, I really haven't. <laughs> I'll get you a green drink if you like it. No balls and two strikes. Hmm. Let me think about it. Listen, Miss mm. Greenwall, his mom says, I'll get you a green drink. She's all about it. <laughs> she may not be, but it sounds good. I know Tyler Mathis loves those green drinks, too. Don't let him fool you. No balls and two strikes here. Big country now trying to punch him out. Bratcher now comes set. Here is pitch number nine of the first inning by Bratch. This one has popped up, and this one's going to get out of play. Bryce Dobbs watches it go foul. No balls and two strikes now. Several Mules fans making their way here to Notre Dame on a cloudy, overcast day here in Cape Girardeau. Sometimes it's just good to have the equipment out in the clouds. You can see things a whole lot better. For sure. No balls and two strikes here. Bratcher checks on the runner at second base. Big run standing there. Swing and oh, a miss it. and down on strikes two down. Big strikeout there for Bratcher, number 32 here on the season. I, I love their video board out here. How it has the players out here with their picture and movement, and that's a uh, that's Until sweet you looking. just said that, didn't realize there was a video board out there. That's pretty sweet. It looking. is pretty sweet. Jack Evans, the senior right fielder, stepping in. He's batting 467. He's got five RBIs so far this year, and you look at his numbers with runners in scoring position. He is batting a whopping 625 wow. with runners in scoring position. So now here we go, big out standing there at home. Bratcher going to go back to second base, not in time, as Londaway is able to get back, no problem. Still two down here in the top or make that bottom of inning number one. We are so glad to have you alongside here, whether you're listening on the radio or watching us on TV here today. Good stop by Dobbs. Runner will go to third base anyway. Yeah, great stop by Bryce right there. Was pulling up to... Uh, throw down batter was a little bit in his in his way right there but hopefully we'll just go ahead and get this out and be done with the inning so now one make that a runner on third base now a hit will score a run mules are trying to advert that one ball and no strikes here for jack evans the cleanup hitter today for the bulldogs yeah, good pitch. pitch way to come back on that one one ball and one strike now for the mules So one ball and one strike here. Two down here in the bottom of inning number one. There's a ground ball. This one hit to Tabanera. Got to hurry over to first base. Got him Great by job. a hair. And the Mules get out of the inning. One air, one left on base. We go to the top of inning number two. Mules coming to bat. It'll be Huffman, Tabanera, and Spain. You're watching and listening to Mules Baseball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling.
All right, so we are going to the top of inning number two now. And for the Mules, uh, as we see four, five, and six now coming to the plate for Popper Bluff, Mules trying to get something going here as we get ready for the top of inning number two. It'll be Cade Huffman, Marcus Tabanera, and Noah Spain all due up here for the Mules. And Huffman, the six foot five sophomore, as he comes up to the plate. Huffman batting 378 this season at 19 RBIs so far for the young man. And this one's going to go foul. So just like that, no balls and a one strike here as we begin the top of inning number two. No balls and one strike here. So now it is a one ball and one strike here as we are underway in the top of inning number two. Huffman trying to get on base. There's a nice smack, shot. and this one gets into center field. Boy, I like his swing. His swing looks like he can go a long way in a, in a golf driving contest. Yeah, he's just real relaxed up there and uh, just real comfortable and put it right uh, over the second base, right out center field, picked up his first single great leadoff spot right there. Apparently, I said something funny because one of the coaches are laughing at me, so I better watch my P's and Q's. It's, it's Co Coach McLevane. You got to be quiet because he's doing his homework over there. Coach Mac, as they call him. T Mac, B Mac, I'm not sure. I call him just McLevane. One ball or make that uh, one runner on first now as Huffman and Tabanera drives this one down the left field line, and this one gets out of play. No balls and one strike here. As Tabanera coming up to the plate now. Tabanera leads the Mules in doubles. Tabanera is batting 317, 13 RBIs, seven doubles. The ball gets behind the runner, and Huffman is going to end up on second base on the throwing air by Bolin. Great job by the Mules. Yeah, great job by Kay right there, realizing that the ball got passed. So it'll pop up real quick and get to second. And now we got a runner on scoring position with a, with a great bat right now. So no balls and one strike here, and Tabanera with runners in scoring position. He is batting 435, and Mules right now with nobody out here in the inning. Bolin comes set, only a sophomore, by the way. Good pitch. Boy, that one had some movement on it. No balls and two strikes now for Marcus Tabanera. The defensive lineup here, Patton Gill out in left field. Don make that Evans rather in right field. This one is fouled it away, and Tabanera just stays alive. Dohan out in center field. Londaway is at shortstop. Hunter Bonham at third base, and Reed Morgan at first base, and Chase Lawson at second. Bryson Clark behind the plate, and the sophomore T.J. Bolin. Of course, his family, his grandfather is Jess Bolin, who has a lot to do with the Red Hawks, and... Uh, how, or I should say, Kappa Hall Field, rather, a lot of influence there as well. That's his grandson on the mound. Back over to second base, not in time. I had the opportunity a long time ago to call some SEMO Red Hawks basketball games with Jess Bolin back in the day. All right. It's amazing who all I know. It's crazy. No balls and two strikes here. Tabanera just gets enough of it. He fouls it right there near Tim. It is no balls and two strikes here with a runner on second base. Mules trying to get something going here. Each team with an air so far here in the ball game. The Mules had a defensive air at shortstop, and Bolin just had one a moment ago on the overthrow to first base. Here is the 0-2 pitch on the way. Goes over the head of Tabanera, and the runner will advance to third base. It's one ball and two strikes. You can hear the ball hit the backstop here. It's great at bat right now by Marcus. Very good at bat by Marcus Tabanera. I can't think of that guy's name standing on the on-deck circle. Who is that guy? Oh, Noah Spain. Noah Spain, that's who it is. He's on deck. Just misses for yeah. a ball. Two, two balls and two strikes. That's great discipline right there by Marcus, though. It really is. You think we should do our golf analogy whenever Noah comes up and talk real quietly, let him get his concentration? Well, it is Masters Week. It is Masters Week indeed. At two balls and two strikes and swing, and he foul tipped it into the glove. There is a strikeout, one down here in the inning. Let's see if I can do this. Stepping up to the plate now is... Junior number 11, Noah Spain. We don't want to mess up his concentration. <laughs> Looks like he is swinging the uh, 
Atlas today. Spain is batting 297 on the season. It takes ball one. One ball and no strikes here to the Mules Jr. One ball and no strikes there as the Mules are trying to. There it goes. Wanted to make sure that my scoreboard updated. There it is. One ball, no strikes here. Runner on third base. One down in the inning. Here is the pitch on the way. There's a ground ball. This one's going to score a run. The third baseman bobbled it for a moment, but still able to throw the runner out. But the runner will score as Spain does his job. RBI ground out. The Mules now lead 1-0. That was a great at bat there by Noah Spain. Yeah, good hard hit right down the line right there. Just uh, was able to, third baseman was able to gather it in and uh, still get the out. But, hey, we got to run across the plate and – We'll take that. That's a good shot. Foul this ball. one taken by Brancher. Fouls it away. No balls and one strike here. Two away in the top of inning number two now. As it goes at 5-3 on the out. So now Brancher steps in. No balls and one strike here. Make it one ball and one strike. Two down here in the inning, and it is nobody on base here as Johnson awaits on deck. The lefty stands in, fouls this one away. It's one ball and two strikes. And now the Mules, Mules are quickly here down to their last strike in the top of inning number two. But the Mules have done their job at this point. Pitch number 25 of the ball game coming up here and got him on the inside, a part of the plate. And the inning will come to a close. Morgan, Pattengill, and Dohan all do up. The Mules get a run on one hit. Also an error in the ballgame for the Bulldogs. The Mules lead by one. Bottom of the second inning coming up in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. You're in the zone with Baldwin Toyota. Today's spotlight is the 2024 Toyota Tundra. This truck is a powerhouse with its available iForce Max engine. That's right. It's built like a champion from the ground up. Its powertrain frame and suspension work together, providing an available max towing capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. With Tundra, you can haul with confidence. Head to Baldwin Toyota and experience the power of the 2024 Toyota Tundra for yourself. And now back to Mules action. This is Brenda Holmes with PB Realty Donovan Office. We are Ripley County's leader in every category of real estate. We can help you with residential, farm and land, river cabins, and commercial properties. Call us at 996-5153 or stop by our office at 304 East Highway Street between Quick Connection and North End Motel. Let's talk about how we can help you with all of your real estate needs. Or call me, Brenda Holmes, at 573-707-0741. And we are back here as we get ready for the bottom of inning number two now. Five, six, and seven all due up here for the Bulldogs. And we are looking at the radar very carefully. Some spotty light showers around the area. The good news is, as of right now, I believe that we should be able to get this game at least a few more innings in, Brandon, before we uh, possibly may be impacted with any kind of rain. Mules, by the way, lead one nothing. Yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll get it in. I know traveling over here, I was uh, ran into a couple different uh, showers, but uh, I'm hoping it holds off. We're able to get the full game in, and hopefully we'll go home with a win. But let's do it. Why not? Here we go now as we get ready for the bottom of inning number two. Reed Morgan coming up to the plate now, batting 241 at this season. Takes the first pitch in there for a call strike. Morgan, so far this season, batting 241. He's got 10 RBIs on the season. He is down a strike here. No balls in one strike. Just misses downstairs for a ball. One ball and one strike here. As Popper Bluff leads a 1-0. Mules have one hit on two runs, or make that one, one run on two hits. With the one air foul tip, and it is one ball and two strikes. Hard to believe that all of our long trips are over now for the season. Yep. We just wrapped it up last weekend at uh, Lake of the Ozarks. Yeah, and I mean, I, I hate that we weren't able to, to make it there, but obviously thankful for you and the radio being able to chime in and tune in to Game Changer and everything else to, to keep track of everything that's happening there. So 
it was a lot of fun. I got sunburned like you wouldn't believe over the weekend. There's a ground ball hit right back to Bratcher. Flips it over to first base in time. It goes a 1-3 on the out. One up and one down here in the bottom of inning number two. Good job by Bratch. And now Channing Pattengill coming up to the plate now here in the second inning. Those games were very unique over the weekend. A time limit, we had a double header, so we had to rotate in, guys. But today we are back on a normal limit. And I know the goal here is to keep Bratcher at about 75 pitches. We'll see if they're able to do that here today. It's one down here in the bottom of inning number two. And there's a quick strike here as we are underway with Channing Pattengill. He is batting 387 on the season, five RBIs and no home runs. Steps in, grounds it right to Johnson on the hop over the first base in time. And there is your second out of the inning. I love the way that Johnson played that ball. And now there are two down here in the inning. Yes, yeah, a great uh, way to get a quick two outs right there. And uh, hopefully we'll get this third one right here. And uh, I'm, I'm ready to hit again. Can I just say, am I allowed to say one thing to you, Brandon, real quick? Absolutely. The Cubs are two games ahead of St. Louis in the <laughs> NL Central. We are not in the cellar. Oh. That's exciting news right there. I know that Coach Mathis's Cardinals are dead square in the cellar. My Cubbies are not. Here is the first pitch. It is. Just misses for a ball. It's tough right now. Maybe for you, not for me. <laughs> Brett Dohan is up to the plate now for the Bulldogs. At Dohan batting 400 on the season, eight RBIs. Swing and a miss, and it's one ball and one strike here. 1-1 one, one the count here as Hunter Bonham awaiting on deck for the Mules coming up in the third inning. 8-9 and one due up. It'll be Johnson. It'll be season good. And then back to the top of the lineup. Oh, pitch. good pitch by Bratcher. Yeah, Absolutely. Pitch. One ball and two strikes. So 1-2 the count now. Two down in the bottom of inning number two. Bratcher gets the sign from Bryce Dobbs. Here is your 1-2 pitch. Fly ball to center field. Going back is the commander, Dylan Hall, and he makes the catch with ease. A one, two, three here in the bottom of inning number two. Miles Johnson, Ryland season good, and Dylan Hall coming up in the top of inning number three. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. It is almost 5 o'clock. I'm Frankie Castillo alongside Brandon Spain. Tim Hicks is up in the quiet booth up there making sure the video looks as good as it can. You're tuning in to Mules Baseball Live on today's talk, 93.3 FM, 9.30 AM, KWOC. We are streaming online at KWOC.com and at Facebook as well as YouTube. We are underway. It is one ball and no strikes here as Miles Johnson digs in, batting 286 on the season. Bolin back out there for his third inning. Two balls and no strikes here. Mules looking for their fourth win in the conference. Boy, it'd be a big one here if they're able to pull this one off today. Yeah, absolutely. And then we got another conference game on Friday. Yes, we do. And, uh, so a uh, big conference week right now for the Mules. Two balls and one strike here as Bolin comes set. And this one just misses for a ball. Three balls and one strike here. 
My good buddy, Ken Hosler, is tuning in today back in Popper Bluff. Glad to have him alongside. This one by Johnson has popped up down the left field line. This one all the way to the fence, and it's going to be at least a double for Johnson. Boy, Johnson needed that one for sure. Big hit there by the Mules shortstop and Miles Johnson. Yeah, that's a great hit by Miles right there. That's where, you know, your his teammates would say, man, he pieced that ball. And uh, yeah, it, it, it hit the fence in the air. I it mean, did. and it was literally right on the line. I mean, perfect, perfectly placed. A great double right there. Boost of confidence for uh, the sophomore. I love it. For Johnson, that is his second double of the season. Ryland season good coming up to the plate now for the Mules. Season good batting 304 this season with runners in scoring position. He is batting 333. Hey, Joshua Knight tuning in back in Popper Bluff. Glad to have him alongside. Fouled away by season good. No balls and one strike here. Nobody out here in the inning, and Johnson leads away from second base. Awaiting on deck, the Mules leadoff man, Dylan Hall. We'll see what season good does here with an 0-1 pitch here by Bolin. Oh, he tried to bunt his way on. Good job as Johnson was already three-fourths the way down to third base. Yeah, he was almost there. You know, really right now what we're looking at with Miles standing on second, Rollin in the box, and then Dylan right behind him. We've got some extreme speed right now starting this inning for us. We really do, and I like the fact that we're playing small ball here of late. We're playing small ball, yes. trying to get those runs across. Yes. That's and strike three is called to uh, Ryland season good. Uh, one down here in the inning. Good pitch by Bolin. His second, or make that third, strikeout here at the ball game. He's got a strikeout in every inning so far. And now Dylan Hall comes up to the plate for the Mules. Hall batting 349, entering the ball game. He is 0 for 1 so far today. The right-hander now steps in against Bolin. Johnson leads away from second base. And Bolin steps off the bag and just in time as Miles Johnson gets back in. That's a great spin move by the pitcher right there, though. He's got a great pickoff move, no doubt about it. So now Bolin comes set now, checks on the runner back at second base who comes set. Here's the pitch on the way. Strike is called, and it's no balls and one strike here. To the Mules center fielder, Dylan Hall, who does a great job in the outfield for Coach Patello and Popper Bluff. Yeah, as soon as that ball was hit that last inning, I, there was a no doubt that, oh, Dylan's got that. Yeah, Dylan has that one, no doubt about it. By the way, it's 320 down the lines in left and right field. 370 in straightaway center. There's a fly ball to right field. This one is going to be caught here by the right fielder, and it's going to be the Mules doubled off again. Two times out of three innings, it is a double play. The Mules caught off base here, and we are going to go now to the bottom of inning number three. It'll be Bonham, Lawson, and Londaway when we come back. Mules lead 1-0 on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. We're back in one minute. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third-generation family-owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Poplar Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. Patriot Auto Glass offers chip repair or glass replacement. They provide fast quality service done by experienced technicians. Ask about our veteran and first responder discounts. Call Patriot Auto Glass today at 573-840-5027. And remember, Patriot Auto Glass will come to you. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions Comprehensive Maintenance Plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. All right, so here we go now as we get ready for the bottom of inning number three and for the Bulldogs, Bonham, Lawson, and Londaway is all due up here for the Bulldogs in the home half of inning number three. So glad you are tuning in to Mules Baseball Live as we are proud to bring it to you 
as we get ready for the bottom of inning number three. By the way, we had lots of activities that were canceled today because of the uh, weather this morning. I know that uh, junior high baseball, junior high softball was canceled today. I think senior night for soccer is still going on back in Popper Bluff. You know, it, it's really amazing because uh, we had all the weather kind of come in and stuff and how perfect yesterday was for the eclipse. It, uh, you know, how, how was it? You took the, I day, took the day, you took off. The day off and just got to be with your family. I got to be with the family, and it was honestly a lot of fun. Swing and a miss here as we are underway here in the bottom of inning number three. So I'll be honest with you. Went fishing with my son during the eclipse, and he's a smart mouth. He did outfish me yesterday, and believe me, he doesn't let me live it down. Uh, excuse me, swing. Johnson picks it up and throws out the runner. It was an excuse me swing by Bonham, and Johnson played that very well. Yeah, he did. He read that really well. He was charging in on it, but he read it, was able to hold back and let it come right into his glove and smooth throw across the diamond for out number one for the Mules. So coming up to the plate now, Chase Lawson, the nine hitter in the lineup. Lawson plays second base. He is a sophomore. Coming in this ball game, batting 143. This one he fouls away. It is no balls and one strike. Very good game shaping up here at Notre Dame High School. The wind blowing out toward left field. And there really isn't, it doesn't feel like that much of a breeze right now. It feels pretty good right now. Yeah. This one is downstairs. Good block by Bryce Dobbs. It's one ball and one strike here. So now Bratcher comes set, gets the sign that he wants here from Bryce Dobbs, not wasting a lot of time. Time is called by the home plate umpire. By the way, coming up on Friday, these same mules will be back in Popper Bluff. We've got three home games back-to-back -back on Friday and Saturday, another SEMO Conference game on Friday as the mules take on Cape Central. Yeah, that's another big big game right there for, for the mules. and. Then turn right around, play uh, two games on Saturday. So another big weekend for, for our baseball boys. It really is. Two balls and one strike here to the nine hitter, Chase Lawson. Lawson comes set. This one is downstairs at three balls and one strike here. Nobody on base here. Here in the bottom of inning number three, Lawson is so far this season batting 143. He's drawn five walks on the season so far. He's also been struck out 11 times. And this one is his sixth walk, and it's a one-out walk here with a runner on first base and one down here in the inning. Back to the top of the lineup now with Logan Londaway stepping up to the plate now. One down here in the bottom of inning number three. Londaway reached on an air his first time. Londaway is batting, entering the game at 341 this season, six RBIs. Tie and run standing there at first base. So Lawson, he's only got two stolen bases this season. Two out of three attempts. Got and him. they got, got him. It. Yes. Oh, oh. they are safe. They're going to say they he missed, missed the tag. Wow. Woo. Boy, the throw was there. Great no job. doubt about that one. Great job by Bryce to recognize that he had too much space and he had him. No, he had him by a mile. They're going to say that uh, Huffman missed the tag. So now you better believe that the first base runner Lawson knows of the arm of Bryce Dobbs. This one has popped up and out of play. One ball and one strike. One one the count here in the bottom of inning number three. Dylan Brancher already 33 pitches here on the young ball game. He has pitched nine so far in this inning. 13 in the first inning, 11 in the second inning. Here is the 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. It's foul tipped a good cut there, and it's one ball, two strikes. One, two. Our waiting on deck here is a TJ Bolin for the Bulldogs, who is down a run here in the bottom of inning number three. Lawson leads away from first base. Brancher checks on the runner back to first base, not in time, as a Lawson slides in. Mules out in the outfield. Kobe Greenwald there in right field. Dylan Hall in center and season good in left. Here's the one-two pitch up high for a ball. Two balls and two strikes here. Base runner got back a little quicker that time. Yes, he did. He wasn't <laughs> messing around. 
So now, overcast skies. It looked like it can rain at any point in time. Hopefully not. I don't think there's any rain coming in right now, which is some good news. The lights are on here at the ball field. Here is the 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Out there and safe at first base. Two down here in the inning. A good pitch by Bratcher. And there are two down, a runner on first base. Yeah, that's a great pitch right there. He went all speed in the dirt, had him swinging. And obviously, it's a little drop strike, but... First base is occupied, so it doesn't matter. So TJ Bolin coming up to the plate now. He's batting 286 on the season, four RBIs, and four. And he makes the catch, and the inning will come. Bulldogs will leave a runner on first base. It'll be Greenwald, Dobbs, and Huffman coming up in the top of inning number four. Mules lead by a run. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. Here's a quick and easy test to see if you need new tires. Insert a penny upside down, and if you see the top of Honest Abe's head, your tread is too low. If you don't, you're good to go. So when it's time for new tires, remember, Christian Automotive and Tire, keeping you safe on the road. Top of inning number four now, Greenwald, Dobbs, and Huffman coming up to the plate now. Before we get to the next pitch, I want to take an opportunity here and just uh, say how lucky that we are, Brandon, that we've got some great coaches for these boys. Coach John David Patillo in his second season, Coach Tyler Mathis, also Casey Beese and Tyler McLevin. They do a great job with our boys. Game in and game out, getting them ready to play every single day. Yeah, absolutely. We're we're blessed uh, to have them, and uh, you know, being kind of in their second year to, together, you can really tell the boys are buying into what they're what they're putting in front of them. So they really are. Greenwall stepping in now. He's got a base hit his first time, and this one goes right to third, and then over to short, and this one way over the head. Greenwall's going to take off, and he may end up at second. He will save at second. Infield base hit, and then he'll get the second base on the overthrow. And that'll be the second air of the ball game here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Kobe. Well, wait, they're giving them two airs on that play. I, I think uh, that's, the first one's a base hit. They're, that's not an air. The one that was hit between shortstop and third base, I'll give that one a hit. Well, you're the, you're the man. Yeah, I'm giving that a hit. That was not an error. Let me just tell you first and foremost, that was a base hit to begin with, and then it was an, an air on the overthrow. Is that the way you would have scored it? That's the way I'm going to score it. Yeah. I, I, Try and it, stop it, me. It, 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 <laughs> <laughs> definitely a hard hit ball. So, Dobbs now takes the first pitch in for a ball. One ball and no strikes here. One over the count as we are in the fourth inning now. Runner on second base. One ball and no strikes. Miss Dobbs is tuning in. You're so welcome. Good deal. Glad that you found us on YouTube, Miss Dobbs. Two balls and no strikes. As Dobbs now at the plate now for the Mules. Dobbs batting 385, entering the ball game. Bola now takes a look back at Greenwall on second base, and here is the 2-0 pitch. There's a smack, this one, right to the shortstop. Dobbs has got a hustle and got him by a step. But he does advance the runner over to third base. Productive out there by Bryce Dobbs. Yeah, great job right there by Bryce. He's able to go to shortstop and advance Kobe. So now we got a guy standing on third with one out. We've got uh, two uh, great double hitters right here. Yes, so. we do. It goes at 6-3 on the out here. Huffman coming up to the plate now with one on and one down. Huffman got a base hit his last time. 
out to center field. And now Greenwall leads away from third base. Strike is called to the Mules' first baseman. No balls and one strike here to Cade Huffman. Huffman so far this season. Huffman on the year. He's got 19 RBIs. Leads the team with 19. One ball and one strike. I wouldn't mind seeing RBI number 20 yeah. come okay. in. What do you say there, big fella? I like that. Jess Bolin now comes set. Here is the 1-1 one, one pitch. This one is that's smacked. An, this one is going to be in the gap. It's going to get down for a hit. And Huffman has done it again. There is RBI number 20. And he leaves the team with RBIs. But most importantly, there is your second run of the ball game. At Mules now lead at 2 nothing. Yeah, great piece of hitting right there by, by Cade. And just put it right there in the right center gap. And now it's up to Marcus to go ahead and advance him. So now Marcus Tabanera coming up to the plate now. Takes this one for a foul ball. Struck out his first time. No balls and one strike here as the Mules now lead at 2 0 over the Bulldogs. You remember this game last year, Brandon, back in Popper Bluff? I Which sure Mules do. player hit a home run in the seventh inning to send this to extras? Ooh, I remember that. You should know this. I should know this. No balls and one strike. Don't, no, 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 no. He can't help you. That is ridiculous. <laughs> what, man? I quit. I'm done. Which Spain were you asking? I was asking you. <laughs> well, you knew what Spain I was asking. <laughs> one ball and one strike here. One one the count here. I believe it was the stash. That, no, that doesn't even count. What? You're fired. That's it. No cheating allowed. One ball, one strike. Back over to first base. Not in time. As Huffman able to slide back in. I do remember the game well, though. I do, I do too. It went almost four hours. Yeah. I can't. I can't forget that game. We I mean, were at pitch black. Ba basically, pitch. basically, we were. We played two games that night. Yes, we did. One ball, two strikes here. Two nothing to lead. Mules here lead at top of inning number four. This game flying on by. Forty-five minutes in. One ball, two strikes here as Bolin steps off the rubber. Huffman now good lead away from first base. He's got a lot of a lot of speed there at first base. Nobody one down here in the inning. Huffman leads away. He'll stay put for the time being. And Tabanera just stays alive. Still one ball and two strikes. See, I was smart. I wore long sleeves here today. I'm glad that I did. I got a coat. I uh, actually have another coat out in the car, too. I couldn't decide. And uh, so I almost grabbed a, a hoodie, but I'm going to put this coat on here. Just there you go. One ball, two strikes here. Here's the pitch up high for a ball. Two balls and two strikes. Good layoff there by Tabanera. Tabanera this season, he's got a team high seven RB or seven doubles rather this season. He leads the team with doubles. He's got 13 RBIs at batting average coming in at 317. Here is the 2-2 pitch. Just misses a little high. Three balls and two strikes now. Ooh, that, that, that's a tough pitch to lay off of when you got two strikes. So. so now it's a full count here. So we'll see if Huffman stays put on first base on a full count. Back over to first base. Not in time as Huffman slides in. Still three balls and two strikes here. Pitch number 49 coming up here as Huffman takes off. And it's ball four. The Mules have runners on first and second base. So now the Mules here with the two runners on and one down in the inning. I'm going to get a mound visit right here. So Coach Lawson's going to come out and talk to T.J. Bolin. Our ball game is presented by Senator Jason Bean, Maverick Glass, also being brought to you by Edmondson Warren and Holt Legal Services, Air Solutions, Larry Hillis Dodge, Eye Care Specialist, Christian Automotive and Tire, also being brought to you by Patriot Auto Glass, Popper Bluff Regional Medical Center, First Choice Insurance, Baldwin Toyota, Russians Towing, Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers, PB Realty Legacy Farm and Land Specialist, Kevin's Auto Repair, and First Midwest Bank, all proud supporters of Mules Baseball. Man, I was going to tell you, over the weekend, I pulled some of the numbers. We could not stream the ball games on Friday and Saturday, but our app, and I can only imagine a lot of it has to do with Mules Baseball. A lot of folks are listening over the weekend on Saturday's doubleheader. Over 500 listening on phone apps or devices. 
that's pretty impressive for high school baseball. Absolutely it is. But, I mean, hey, you're – they're tuning into the voice of the mule. No, I was going to say, whenever they realized Brandon wasn't with me, half of them dropped off pretty quick. You're the reason why they listened. This one's popped up, and this one's going to get over and out of – oh, it's going to be caught there right at the fence by Bonham, the third baseman. And there is two down in the inning. Boy, Bonham went a long way for that one. Two down here in the inning. Runner still on first and second base, and now Dylan Bratcher comes up to the plate. Bratcher struck out looking his first time. Would love to be able to help his own cause here and get some insurance to come in with two runners on. Here is the first offering by Bolin to uh, Dylan Bratcher. This one has popped up, and this one is out toward center field, and making the catch is Dohan. And the inning will come to a close. The Mules pick up one run in the inning. They leave two runners on. Brandon will have the call coming up in the bottom of inning number four. Mules lead 2-0 back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Imagine playing sports, reading, or driving without needing contact lenses or glasses. The eye LASIK procedure at Eye Care Specialists could be the answer to help you improve your vision. Call Eye Care Specialists to schedule a free screening. Kevin's Auto and Tire is now a certified dealer for Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. Kevin's Auto is also a full-service garage from brakes and oil changes to electrical and AC. Don't forget they also offer custom muffler work. It's Kevin's Auto and Tire, located on Cravens Road in Poplar Bluff. Caring for those you love also means taking good care of yourself. At Poplar Bluff Regional Medical Center, our health care providers take the time to identify your health risks and help you prioritize good health. Regular checkups and age-appropriate screenings are important to be healthy now and stay well in the future. With same or next-day appointments and online scheduling, we make it easy to make an appointment right now. You can even see us from the comfort of your own home via telehealth. Put your health first today by making an appointment by visiting pbrmc.com and searching online scheduling. Well, thank you for tuning in for Mules Baseball. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth inning here at Notre Dame High School between your Popper Bluff Mules and the uh, Bulldogs of Notre Dame. We've got hitters two, three, and four coming up for the Bulldogs. The Mules uh, picked up another insurance run, leading two to nothing. And uh, alongside my good friend here, Frankie Castile, I am Brandon I'm talking, I'm talking to your dad right now. I'm letting him know you're doing play-by-play -play this inning. I thought you went and got a cheeseburger. No way, Jose. I want to hear how this goes. Oh, man, no. Well, now that everyone knows you're back, they're like, Frankie, Frankie, Nobody's Frankie, saying that, I can Frankie. promise you. I can assure you of that. What a game, though, so far. We knew it was going to be a close ball game. Notre Dame, a very good baseball team, as is Popper Bluff. And I tell you what, right now the Mules have a lead, but we're getting later into the ball game now. Every at bat really matters. Every pitch matters. And for the Mules to be up two nothing, I would say early in the ball game with the mistakes, I would say we're pretty fortunate. Yeah, we're sitting in a good spot right now. But you're exactly right. Every pitch counts. Every at bat's going to count for us right now. Uh, Notre Dame is is here to play. They're on their home turf. This is a big uh, conference game for them as well, just as it is for us. And so, uh, with them having last at bat, we're going to have to continue to add runs whenever we can pick them up. So, Big Country is going to go to work right here to kick off the bottom of the fourth inning for us. Hopefully, we'll go three up, three down, and get real out of quick, here. I want to say, add a boy there to my boy Preston Moore. Boy, he was a lot of fun to watch in Mills basketball the last few years. So we appreciate Preston Moore. We're going to miss him next year on the basketball floor. Yes, no doubt we about are. that. We sure are. All right, you're up, Brandon. There's Ooh. the first pitch from Dylan Bratcher. That one's taken out. It's going back and it's, uh, in. It's over, go to the Ryland, over Ryland's head. Easy stand-up double right there for the leadoff man. You have all the names, so I don't know who's batting. So, Boy, that was a big, big double there by Bryson Clark. And now Jack Evans coming up to the plate. Now we're going to get a courtesy runner to come in. Looks like number seven. Yeah, courtesy runner now going to come in for Clark. So Clark does his job. And now we're going to have Mills out there on second base. Oh, is that Josh's boy? That's Josh's boy. So Bryson Clark, the catcher, with a big double. Up now is Jack Evans. He's 0 for 1 on the afternoon. He grounded out to Tabanera his first time. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss. 
Good pitch right there by Dylan Bratcher. Ahead in the count right now. No balls, one strike. Mules leading 2 nothing. Here at Notre Dame High School. I just have a question for you. As we wa we, we watched this next pitch come in by Branch, I was taking a drink of water, and I looked up, and we see this one's a ground ball. This one's going to get in for a base hit. It'll be interesting. They're going to hold the runner at third base. So now runners are on the corners now with nobody down as Evans with a base hit. And now runners on first and third base here. Coming up to the plate now is Reed Morgan, the first baseman who grounded out to uh, Bratcher his first time. Yeah, with the runners on the corner right here, we, we know Bryce is caught in a play, and so our defense is set, ready, kind of know what they're, what they're looking to do. Bratcher gets the sign he wants. Here's the first pitch down in the dirt. 1-0. I was going to say, I was getting a drink of water, and I look up, and Tim's up there smiling, having a good time in the press box, and all of a sudden he gets the real treatment everywhere we go. Look, yeah, he's waving he's at waving us. At he's us. waving at you and everything. He's Brandon. got his feet tuck out the window, just laid back. Oh, they got him at first. Yes, they do. Yeah. They picked him off at first. Great job. Dylan Bratcher doing his thing, and Evans is retired as he got too far off at first base, and Huffman applied the tag. That a boy, big country. So one down here in the inning, and now a runner just on third base. Yeah, that's a big out right there. Great pitch, too. Great pitch. Ball take call for a strike. 1-1 one, one in the count. Pitch number 43 on its way for Dylan Bratcher here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball hitting right at Marcus Tavernier, backhand. He's going to get the, the out. easy out at first base. One run, one run comes across the plate for the Bulldogs. Brings it two to one right now. But just like that, there's nobody on now, and that pickoff a moment ago really just changes everything. It is a one-run ball game now, but good job by Tavernier to just get the easy out at first base. Yeah, that's heads-up baseball right there. And, I mean, obviously you don't want any run across the plate, but – I mean, you've got two outs now because of that pickoff play, uh, getting that first one. So nobody on. And Patton Gill up to the plate now. Chatton Panning Gill, who is 0 for 1 here on the afternoon. Oh, uh, curveball taken for a strike. Beautiful pitch right there. So no balls and one strike here. It is a 2 1 ball game. Ground ball hit hard, going to go foul. So now it's no balls and two strikes. So you like doing play-by-play, -play, don't you? It's getting in your blood now. It's No. You eat, sleep, and breathe at doing play-by-play. -play. No, it makes me extremely nervous, and <laughs> I'm just glad you're you're right here and you never get up from the table. Uh, no, I, I really don't. <laughs> no balls and two strikes here. Mules here one pitch away from getting out of the inning. Popped up. This one out toward left field. Season good. Going back to make the catch, and the inning will come to a close. But the Bulldogs get a run back. One run on two hits, and nobody left on a nine-pitch inning there by Dylan Bratcher. We're back in one minute. Mules lead 2-1, to 8-9-1, due up on the southeast side and graphics. Mules Radio Network. You're in the zone with Baldwin Toyota. Today's spotlight is the 2024 Toyota Tundra. This truck is a powerhouse with its available iForce Max engine. That's right. It's built like a champion from the ground up. Its powertrain frame and suspension work together, providing an available max towing capacity of up to 12,000 pounds. With Tundra, you can haul with confidence. Head to Baldwin Toyota and experience the power of the 2024 Toyota Tundra for yourself. And now back to Mules action. These this is Brenda Holmes help helping maximize your profit. Donovan office. We are New Ripley County, County Slinger in every category of
It is 530. I'm Frankie Castile. Tim Hicks is up in the press box. His feet all reclined up a cup of coffee. He's Brandon Spain, and you're watching and listening to Mules Baseball live on the radio. Today's talk, 93.3 FM, 9.30 AM, as well as streaming it live on Facebook and on YouTube. You can also check us out on our brand new app at todaystalk.com on the iOS devices in your app store. So here is the first pitch by Jess Bolin. And it goes to Miles Johnson for a strike. No balls and one strike as we are underway here in the top of inning number five. Mules lead at two to one. There's a fly ball. This one out toward left field. This one's going to go over. And this one's going to be another double by Miles Johnson. So Johnson back to back at bats here with doubles and the Mules, a big runner standing there on second base with nobody out yeah i was just fixing to say miles Mal, last at bat he had a, a big double for us uh, to lead the inning off i'll take another one and then he does it so you know i'm just going to keep thinking those thoughts i'll do it as well so now the mules have their lead off man aboard and coming up to the plate now rylan season good who's 0 for one here in the ball game and he would love to get a hit here time is called as bryson clark is going to walk out and talk to his sophomore pitcher. Boy, a big run standing there on second base right now. Brandon Mules gave up one last inning. They would love to get that one back right now. Yeah, we really would. And Rollins got the power to do it. And so um, I'll say let's just go ahead and uh, get it across the plate. Absolutely. Here we go now as two to one the score. Strike is called to Ryland Season Good. We are underway now with Season Good. No balls and one strike here. Runner on second base. Michael o Michael Neal is tuning in. He says, let's go, Mule. That's Glad my, to have you alongside. Hey, Pop, that's my father-in-law. That's your father-in-law. Yeah. Absolutely glad to have him alongside. This one gets All away, pitch. and Johnson takes off, and he goes to third. Yeah. Heads up, base run right there by Miles. See, sees the ball, gets away from the catcher, and rounded third, looking possibly even to stretch it home. But one ball and one strike here. So now the Mules have that other insurance run standing on third base. We're in the top of the fifth inning, and not to jinx anybody, but you almost got to score that run, right? Yeah, we, we got to get him across, uh, no doubt. I mean, it's two to one. We, we don't have any outs, so we, we got to get him across. Two balls and one strike. By the way, coming up on Saturday, that big mega raffle going on. Any more tickets left to sell? Uh, yes, there. Are, you can always buy tickets. All right, five dollars a ticket. Get uh, what is it? Five, five for twenty. Five for twenty. Five for twenty. Lots of prizes up for grabs coming up. Ball yeah. taken a little bit inside. The home plate umpire says, two balls and two strikes here. Or three one rather. I thought I was right. The scoreboard was wrong for a second. Three balls and one strike. Season good digs in. There's strike two. It's full count now. Three balls and two strikes here. Nobody down. Got the infield playing on the grass right now. They're ready for any, any small ball right now. So three balls and two strikes here. Runner on third base. Here's the pitch. And season good. Oh, Gets yeah, out there burned. for a base hit. Yes, sir. And the Mules have a two-run lead as season good in RBI base hit. Rollin just it looked like he almost just kind of threw the bat out there and let the bat do the work, put it yeah. right over the pitcher's head. And because the infield was playing the grass, uh, they they had a horrible angle, went right over the bag out in the center field. And RBI single right there for the senior. Back-to-back -back hits here for the Mules in the bottom part of the lineup. And now Dylan Hall comes up. And the Mules take off, and Season Good has a stolen base. Season Good now standing on second base with nobody out in the inning. Dylan Hall up to the plate now for the Mules. Fouled away. Mules now have a two-run lead. No balls and one strike here. It's one ball and one strike here, too. But Dylan Hall, Hall is 0 for 2 so far today. Love to get a hit here with season good on second base. 
Hoagland comes set now. Here is the 1-1 one, one pitch. Oh, good bunt by Dylan Hall. Stay this in, one is going to stay. stay. Oh, uh, just goes foul. Oh, man, he had him time, too. He, he had did. that one. Great job right there by Dylan to put it literally right on the, the inside line. of the line. Uh, and one, two. One, two, the count now. You heard the home plate umpire. One ball, two strikes now. Big and runner standing there on second base. Greenwall awaits on deck. Nobody out. One ball and two strikes. Here is the pitch on the way to Dylan Hall. This one's That's popped up, and this one's going to get down. Get down, baby. Get down. We're going to score Rylan. It's going to score Rylan. Here Go is four. your throw. Yes, sir. And Dylan Hall does his job, a big That's RBI. Good. That is number nine here on the season. You know, we're in Cape, so I'm thinking he deserves um, uh, uh, a meal from yes, yeah. Chick-fil-A. He loves the Nuggets, so a 12-count Nugget is what he wants. There so, you Frankie, go. He thank deserves you it. For, for volunteering to pick we that get, up for him. We get this win. I'll take the whole team out for a steak dinner courtesy of Paul Spain. Oh, oh my, he gave me that look like, what? I heard, I heard Coach – Coach Mack over here wanted to take him to get seafood. Seafood? I don't you know, think he's a big seafood kind of guy. He's a big seafood guy. So now we're going to get a, it looks like a pitching change. Yeah, pitching change. So with that being said, we'll take a one minute break here. The Mules now lead four to one. Don't go anywhere. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Attention all baseball fans. Are you looking for a winning insurance plan? Look no further than First Choice Insurance, your MVP for all things coverage. Just like a solid defense, our policies protect you when life throws unexpected curveballs. Whether it's home, auto, or life insurance, we've got you covered. Swing for the fences with First Choice Insurance and hit a home run for peace of mind. Visit us today or call our team for a Grand Slam insurance experience. First Choice Insurance, where protection meets perfection. All right, so we are back here, and the Mules now lead 4-0 as Popper Bluff now. Dylan Hall gets his ninth RBI of the season out to center field, and that'll be the end of T.J. Bolin here. 63 pitches in all. Let's give you the final numbers here for Jess, or I should say for T.J. Bolin, Jess, his grandfather. T.J. went four innings. He faced 19 batters. 41 strikes, eight hits, four runs, two were earned. He walked one and struck out four. The new pitcher on the mound is going to be Hunter Bonham. He will be the new pitcher on the mound. And you look at the numbers for Hunter Bonham. He is making this his fifth appearance so far this season. He is 0-1 on the year. His earned run average is 4.038, eight and two-third innings. He has given up six hits, ten runs, five earned. He has walked six and struck out 12. So there are the numbers here for Bonham. And Bolin is now going to move over and third base. He's playing third base. I think you're right. This one's going to get away, and Dylan Hall takes off, and he'll wind up on second base here. So Bonham is the new pitcher for the Bulldogs. Bolin is going to move over, and he'll be over at third base, so that's the only change right now. One ball and no strikes here with a runner on second base. Coach Mathis' lovely wife, Hannah, is tuning in. By the way, by the way, Miss Mathis, Tyler did walk over here during that last break and make sure that we let him know that he was thinking about you and says hi to you. That's right. He did. He said, hey, make sure you tell my wife I said hello. 
Oh, but Coach Mathis, his wife, says, can the coaches get in for that steak dinner? Why not? I'm not buying. <laughs> Good block there by the catcher by Clark here, and Dylan Hall stays put. It's three balls and no strikes now. More importantly, a dangerous hitter at the plate right now is Kobe Greenwall. He is two for two on the afternoon. He's got two singles and scored back in the fourth. Greenwall so far this season, 13 RBIs, number 14 is standing there on second base. Here yeah. is your 3-0 pitch. Downstairs, Mules have runners on first and second base now. Still nobody out. Big hitter right now, Bryce Dobbs, stepping up to the plate for the Mules. Obviously, with no outs, runners on first and second. Uh, Bryce has got one home run already, so he's got potential to do a lot of damage right now. I'm going to get it on the action. I don't know why they do this, but I'm going to say Bruce is up at the plate. Uh, there you go. Get well, I'm going to get into it now. Yeah. Bruce standing there at the plate now with nobody out. Two runners on. Here's the pitch by Bonham. It's in the dirt. Good block by Clark. And one ball and no strikes here. Yeah. As Dobbs digs in, he's 0 for 2. Boy, he's due for a hit right now. Yeah. Why not get one out there between left and center field, big fella? What do you say? Two runners on, nobody out. 4-1 the score here in... Cape Girardeau at Notre Dame High School. Mules looking for their fourth win in the conference, and this one gets behind. The runners take off, and now they're on second and third. Well, you knew that uh, with the speed that we had on first and second with uh, Colby standing on second now and Dylan on third, that any, any pass ball, they're going to move, and that's exactly what happened. And the infield's coming in to play the grass again. Yes, they are. So now big, big... Big advantage here for Dobbs here, and this one's called a strike. Two balls and one strike now to the Mules catcher. Two and one now. Sharon Berkey tuning in and glad to have her alongside here this afternoon. Here is the 2-1 pitch downstairs. It's three balls and one strike. So three and one the count now as... That could have been, a, that could have been bad. Yes, it could have been. Ball thrown back, went off the mound, went behind the pitcher. So Bonham, his... Second pitcher of the ball game here for the Bulldogs, making his fifth appearance. He is 0-1 on the season for the Bulldogs. He has pitched eight and two-third innings so far, has struck out 12 batters. This one is downstairs, and now the Mules have them loaded. Nobody out here in the top of inning number five. Cameron Settle's going to come in and run for Bruce. So Bruce does his job. He does. He draws the walk, and now Cameron Settle will come out, and he will be the first base runner. So if you're watching us on TV right now, you see everything lit up. Everything, everybody's on base now. A runner on every base. Terry Brancher is tuning in as well. Grandma Jackie tuning in in Poplar Bluff. We take her to the doctor tomorrow. Got to get that uh, checkup visit. Dylan Hall comes in to score on the pass ball. No, it hit him. Oh, did it hit him? Yeah, it hit him. He took first. Sure did. I thought it hit the dirt first. Nevertheless, Mules now. I think uh, Dylan Hall thought the same thing I thought, yeah. the way he was flying in. Yeah. So now the Mules here lead it 5-1. to one. So now the Mules here, a walk, and now a hit by a pitch. Marcus pops and Tabanera one. pops one up to shortstop. Londaway gets underneath it and makes the catch. That's a big out there, one down here in the inning. Noah Spain stepping up to play for, for the Mules right here. Oh, quick pitch. So now Spain takes the first one in the dirt now. One ball and no strikes. So one down here in the inning. And Noah, Noah Spain takes two balls and no strikes now. So two balls and no strikes here. One down in the inning. Wasting no time here is Hunter Bonham. Here is the 2-0 pitch. There's a good, good pitch there. Two balls and one strike. So two and one, two and one the count now. One down. It is a five, not five to one game. Three balls and one strike now to Noah Spain. 
Three and one the count. Here, Coach Patillo letting his players know, don't get relaxed out there. Here is a 3-1 pitch, and now it's a strike. Three balls and two strikes here. One down in the inning. Big pitch coming up here to Spain. Spain, by the way, is 0 for 2 so far today with an RBI ground out. Here's the payoff. Downstairs, Mules have another run. It is now 6 to 1. So now Mules lead at 6 to 1. You know, all these players, they wear all these ankle guards and elbow guards and all this stuff. And that first game, we got another mound visit coming up. So. Noah started, he got walked, he started taking all that stuff. And I said, man, you look like a pit crew out there for NASCAR trying to take all that stuff off. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Dan Elder is tuning in and glad to have him alongside. He says he loves watching Mules baseball and hearing Brandon Spain do that play-by-play -play there in that third inning. Oh, oh Coach Dan. Oh, Coach Dan. Yeah, he uh, – I went to school with old Mr. Elder. Yeah, he uh, – he coaches uh, Graham and Quinn and, and travel ball and had the, the privilege of getting to coach alongside him for the last few years. And I don't want Dan to get mad at me, so don't get mad, Dan. But did you know that Mr. Elder and I also went to the police academy together? I did not know that. You knew, you learn something new every day. You learn something new every day. I, I want to know who graduated higher in the class. Oh, Dan did. He was the president of the class. <laughs> they don't, they don't. I was the vice president, but he was the president of the class. All right. Man, I, I, I you never know who you know. He is right. Dan's, yeah. Hey, Dan's the man. What can we say? So we're going to get a new pitcher on the mound for the Bulldogs here. It's the third one of the ball game. And so far today, the Mules making the most of their opportunities right now. Popper Bluff, as it stands right now, five, a 6 to 1 lead. But this one is a huge game for the Mules. Four runs already in. This is a conference game. The Mules need this game, no doubt. Yeah, we, we really do. And uh, obviously playing Cape later on this week on, on Friday. And um, to get four conference wins, um, it's going to be huge for us right now. Uh, wh when was the last time that maybe we started 4-0 and in, in conference play? Do you remember? I, 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 honestly, I I think it was 2017. Okay. So but don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure years. that was the right year. Yeah, that, the year I moved here. Yeah, it was it's been a been a few years. It's been a few years. Dan Elder says, long time ago, he says. It feels like a long time ago. That was back in 2007. Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> it's a different world back then, no doubt. So now the new pitcher on the mound for the Bulldogs is going to be number three. It is Tyler Gamble, who is a senior, and Gamble making his first appearance of the season, believe it or not. So we've got a new pitcher on the mound, the third one of the game so far. Did you say it's his first appearance? This first year? appearance. So Gamble now coming up to the plate, or I should say on the mound here as Bratcher comes in now. Bratcher is 0 for 2. Bases are loaded, one down. Mules have a 6-1 to one lead right now. First pitch up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes. So 1-0 yep. the count now. Bratcher's not your ordinary pitcher who doesn't bat. He, he, he's, he can do a lot of damage at the plate. Yes, he can. Strike is called. I'm curious, you know, when he when he goes to college and, and pitches, if they'll make him a PO or if they'll let him hit. I don't know. I bet they'll let him hit. Here is the one one pitch on the way. I I stand corrected by the way. This is Gamble's second appearance, not his first. His second appearance. He's only pitched one inning so far this season. Got Brant Bell stepping up. On the deck for the Mules. This one fouled away. Two balls and two strikes now. Two and two the count. Bases are loaded here. So far here this season, Gamble has given up two hits, three runs, two earned. His earned run average is 14. And this one, I believe, hit him. 
The way he's jogging, I would say it did. So we're going to see a pinch hitter coming in. So Remington season good is going to be the pinch, or I should say courtesy runner rather on first base. It is now a seven to one ball game. Big brother, Rylan is standing on deck. I wonder which one's faster. I don't know. I'm pretty sure of one thing. I couldn't beat either one of them in a foot race, though. I guarantee it. Couldn't beat either one. He smiles at me. Ryan's like, you can't beat me. I know I can't beat him. I guarantee it. He's too quick. Seven to one now. The score. Bases are loaded here. The Mules with a seven to one lead. And we're going to see a pinch hitter coming in for the Mules. Now Brent Bell will step in for Miles Johnson. First pitch up high for a ball. One ball and no strikes here. Big opportunity right here for the freshman. Love to see him get this opportunity. Love to see him uh, put one in play right here and do some damage with bases loaded. Mules here have batted around in the inning. Two balls and no strikes. The inning begun with Miles Johnson doubled and scored at the third run of the ball game. It is now two balls and no strikes here as the Mules have batted around in the inning. They've opened this game up. This one just misses three balls and no strikes. It is a seven to one ball game here. Hour 20 as the winner of this game, the Mules rather, if they win this game, they would be 4-0 to begin the conference and they're gonna walk in a run as Brent Bell gets on base here following a walk. The win is starting to pick up a little bit. Got another mound visit right here by Notre Dame. See? And we're going to get a, I believe we're going to get, yep, we're going to get another pitching change. So with that being said, let's go to break here and we'll come back and we'll tell you about the new pitcher coming up as only one batter here, or make that two batters by Tyler Gamble. He pitched just eight pitches or nine pitches. It is now an eight to one ball game. We're back in one minute on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Whitworth Gift Chest Jewelers is a third generation family owned jewelry and repair store who have served the Poplar Bluff community for over 60 years. Our family has always worked hard to provide the finest jewelry creations and service imaginable. Patriot Auto Glass offers chip repair or glass replacement. They provide fast quality service done by experienced technicians. Ask about our veteran and first responder discounts. Call Patriot Auto Glass today at 573-840-5027. And remember, Patriot Auto Glass will come to you. Well, we were sitting at a two to one ball game and then three to one ball game. And all of a sudden the mules have come back in this inning alone and scored a six unanswered when it was two to one. And I tell you what, I think the uh, citizen of the year behind us is uh, Nathan Dobbs here holding down the tent. So that way we don't get blown away in this wind. Chivalry is not dead. Exactly. It's not dead. Now pay the man. <laughs> Wait a minute, you still bringing that grill next weekend, aren't you, big guy? Yes, he is. He promised me a nice, big, uh, juicy something or another rib next eye? week. Something. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'll take it. He told me he was cooking me a ribeye. No, he said you're gonna, too busy. He said you are going to get a hot dog. Well, you're too busy. you got three games. I've only got two, so I've got a game in between to kind of do nothing. <laughs> so now as we see Ryland season good coming up to the plate now, an RBI base hit his first time this inning. There is a swing and a miss by Lawson Mills first pitch, and we are underway here at this at bat. No balls and one strike. 
as the Mules right now lead it eight to one, season good. He is one for two, a swing and a miss, and quickly no balls and two strikes here. So up to, or I should say pitching wise, it is Lawson Mills. Lawson here this season, he is making his, ooh, just misses. I thought season good was gonna get rung up on that one. Yeah, one I ball, two strikes here. So Mills making his third appearance. He has pitched one and one third inning so far this season. Mills has given up two hits, five runs. All five were earned. He's walked three and struck out one. Now it's two balls and two strikes here. Mills earn run average is a hair over 26. Three balls, or make that two balls and two strikes here as the right hander comes set. Pitch is just inside at three balls and two strikes. It's amazing how the wind has really picked up in the last 15 minutes or so. Yeah, Notre Dame playing the situation right now with the corners in and you got mid infield double play. And hit. the Mules walk in another run. It's now nine to one as season good. It was 0-2 count, ends up drawing the walk. And now the Mules lead it by a score of nine to one. Still one down here in the inning. Dylan Hall in RBI base hit earlier this inning. Comes up to the plate now for the Mules. Oh, little chin music. It is nine to one now. And ball one is taken. Runners are still on every base. Oh, Dan Elder, two balls and no strikes here. I had to let Nate read that one because Dan said Nate's always leaning on something. I didn't know Nate could read. What? <laughs> He's holding the tent down. I'm, I'm not going to say that about the young man. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, I know. Oh, oh good, good job the there. Right by there. Good job by Season Good to recognize that, too. Remington, three balls and no strikes. The umpire took the brunt of that one. Yeah, he did. 3-0 the count, 9-1 is your score. We started this inning 2-1 when Notre Dame had just scored a run. Dylan Bratcher, meanwhile, got a pickoff on first base, which really, I think, gave the momentum back to Popper Bluff, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, it really did, and that was a, a, a big out for us, and here we are sitting on one and still bases loaded. Here is the 3-0 pitch coming to the Mule center fielder. And missed it inside. It's now 10-1. Three consecutive walks here. And now it is a 10-1 ball game. Kobe Greenwall stepping up. So here are the last five batters. A walk to Noah Spain. A hit by pitch to Dylan Bratcher. And then consecutive walks to, uh, to to Brent Bell and then Ryland Season Good and then Dylan Hall. There's a strike called to uh, Kobe Greenwall. No balls and one strike here. Make it one ball and one strike here. Good job by Kobe to hold off on that. He he wanted to go for it, but. Good discipline right there. It is a 10 to 1 ball game now. Mules here pouring it on over the Bulldogs here. And a strike is called. It's one ball, two strikes here. One, two. One, two, the count. We appreciate the administration here at Notre Dame High School. Josh Mills giving us a table and a tent. We weren't sure about how the uh, weather was going to impact the ball game here today. So. He really stepped up in a big way to, you know, give us what we needed to make sure that we could put on this broadcast today with no problems. Thank you, Josh Mills. Absolutely. Two balls or make that one ball, two strikes here. Here's the pitch and there's the ground ball. This one right to third base and they'll step there for the force out. And there are two down here in the inning. Good job there by the Bulldogs. Yeah, good job right there. Third baseman was playing in, and now everybody's going to go back to the normal spots. And uh, that's heads up baseball right there. So good call by the coaches to adjust his players. And I texted Josh earlier today to ask him, hey, are, 
you think we'll still play? And he said, it looks good on our side. So, so fielder's choice there as the Mules now two down and everybody stays put. Ryland season good. It's going to end up and stay put. So two down in the inning. One ball and no strikes here. Two down in the inning. Two balls and no strikes. So now Bryce Bruce Dobbs rather comes up. He walked and scored earlier this inning. Inside pitch called a ball. It is two balls and no strikes. Or three balls and no strikes, rather. So Dobbs here trying to get that walk or get on by any means necessary. And there's a good pitch that time by Lawson Mills. Three balls and one strike. Here is the 3-1 pitch on the way. There's a ground ball. This one's going to go foul. Three balls and two strikes here. Three balls and two strikes to the Mules catcher. Three pitchers have been used in this inning. So three balls and two strikes here. Here's the payoff by Mills. Oh, oh it hit him. Plugged in the back. Right in the back, and now the Mules have a 10-run lead. You know, that always stinks when uh, it's it's the fourth ball and you get hit with it. <laughs> that's, that's never fun, man. So now time is called here. Mules have a 10-run lead, and we're going to get another pitching change coming in. So let's step away for 30 more or make that one minute. Mules now lead by 10 on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Breathe easier and extend the life of your HVAC system plus fewer repair bills with Air Solutions Comprehensive Maintenance Plan. You'll save money and get the peace of mind that only comes from calling Air Solutions, 785-1500. Maverick Glass offers repair of automotive, commercial, and residential glass, including mobile repair services. From a chip windshield to a custom glass shower, remember Maverick Glass. Thank you for making Maverick Glass the area's leading glass company for more than 30 years. Here's a quick and easy test to see if you need new tires. Insert a penny upside down, and if you see the top of Honest Abe's head, your tread is too low. If you don't, you're good to go. So when it's time for new tires, remember, Christian Automotive and Tire, keeping you safe on the road. All right, so we are back here. It is an 11 to 1 ball game here. The Mules are trying to run roll the Bulldogs here in five innings, and now they're in good shape to do that as they lead by 10 runs. Yeah, when we started this inning, obviously, I'm, what was it, 2 to 1 when we started? 2 to 1. 2 to 1 when we started. And now we have a 10 run lead, 11 to 7, and 11 to 1 right now, and uh, still bases loaded with. Um, Cade stepping up, so we got four, five, and six coming up for the for the mules, and still, man, they can uh, they can still do a lot of damage right here. So, I think absolutely. Uh, what 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 pitch? What number pitcher are we on right now? For, this is the fourth in fourth the inning. One, just this inning. Just this inning alone. Yeah, and and you hate that for the sure, Bulldogs, absolutely. You, you 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 hate that because you know what? We've been on the other side of of this before, and uh, and they're pitching a freshman right now, you know, and Sam Geta. So you, 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 you don't want to see that, but 
No, absolutely. You definitely don't want to see that. And, you know, we've been on, the, like you said, we've been on the other side of that time, and you know, a few times. So, I mean, we get it. I get it, both sides of it. First pitch is downstairs for a ball. One ball and no strikes here to Cade Huffman, who is up to the plate now for the Mules. Mules here have poured it on in this inning, a nine-run inning for the Mules. This one has popped up, and this one is going to get out of play down that third baseline, just out of play. I'll tell you what, the Mules, what I like about this inning for the Mules, we made some mistakes early, but, I mean, they did not lose their composure, and they have proven here in this inning that they can be patient when they need to be and when it matters the most, this was a one-run game. Strike is called. It is one ball, two strikes now. So one ball and two strikes here. One, two, the count, two down, 11 to one. The score, Mules have put up nine runs in this inning. Just misses downstairs, two balls and two strikes. So Huffman here this afternoon, at two for two. He was hit by a pitch earlier this inning. So here is the 2-2 pitch on the way. There's a ground ball, this one right to the first baseman. That's how this inning will come to a close, but not before the Mules end up capping nine runs in the inning Nine runs on just three hits. They leave them loaded. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. We're coming right back in 60 seconds on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. Imagine playing sports, reading, or driving without needing contact lenses or glasses. The eye LASIK procedure at Eye Care Specialists could be the answer to help you improve your vision. Call Eye Care Specialists to schedule a free screening. Kevin's Auto and Tire is now a certified dealer for Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. Kevin's Auto is also a full-service garage from brakes and oil changes to electrical and AC. Don't forget they also offer custom muffler work. It's Kevin's Auto and Tire, located on Cravens Road in Poplar Bluff. A nine-run fifth inning for the Mules. 64 pitchers with four pitchers combined for the Bulldogs here, Brandon. And the Mules now are three outs away from ending this ball game a little bit earlier today. Yeah, a great opportunity right here for the Mules to finish this out. We got a couple uh, defensive substitutions. It uh, looks like Cameron Settles come in and play third base for the Mules. Noah Spain is shifted over to play shortstop and looks like everyone else is still pretty much the same right now for, for the Mules. So Cameron Settle is going to be the man to play third base. And this one is popped up out toward a right field. A one pitch and one down to Kobe Greenwall. Yeah, that was right at him. He didn't even have to move. Did not have to move at all. One up and one down here in the inning. So now, here we go now as the Mules now. One down here in the inning, and Sam Gata coming up to the plate now. And the first pitch taken for a ball. One ball and no strikes to the freshman who came in to pitch. This one has popped straight up as well. This one down the line, and this one's going to get out of play. He turned on that one really hard, though. One ball and one strike here. 
One one the count, one down here in the bottom of the fifth inning. So Sam Gata up to the plate now. This one fouled away. One ball, two strikes now. That's a good pitch right there by Bradshaw coming back with all speed. And good job by the batter, too, to catch up to it and keep himself alive right here. So one ball, two strikes here as the Mules now trying to get out of this inning, giving up no damage. They're up by 10 runs. They can run rule here if they get, if they get out of the inning. This one just misses two balls and one strike, or two balls and two strikes, rather. 2-2 two, two the count. One down here in the fifth. Be interesting to see who the coaching staff selects as the players of the game. This one has popped up. This one, Noah Spain says, I got it. He makes the catch. Two down here in the inning. Good job by Noah Spain. He was very verbal on that one. I could hear him all the way over here. Uh, he can't be loud. I hear him all over the house. Two down. Chase Lawson now coming up to the plate. Two away here in the inning. Mules have one final out to go. And then we'll take our post game, hopefully, to the field. Great pitch right there by Bratcher. Two down here in the inning. It's an 0-1 count now to Lawson. Mules now trying to pick up their fourth win in the conference swing and a miss. He is well on his way of doing that, too. No balls and two strikes here. Here's the pitch and swing and a miss, and that'll be the ball game as the Mules end up and pick up a run roll here. They win 11-1 to 1 in one hour and 40 minutes. The Mules pick up the win. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere as we will continue with our post game. Mules get the win. They are now 4-0 in the conference, and they pick up their 11th win on the season. We'll be back. You're watching and listening to Mules Baseball on the Southeast Sign and Graphics Mules Radio Network. All right, we are back here with our post-game report, and joining us now is the head coach, John David Patillo. And, Coach, what a win here today. Comped walks, three hit-by-pitches. Walk us through that fifth inning. Well, it, it was a big inning because they were they were short, and we knew they came out with their number two, and it's nice to come out of here and save uh, pitches. with His slump, two doubles and one back to He's had an injury that's been nagging. Uh, we took him out there late, swung the bat well today. It was good to see him do that. And uh, Conference, if I'm math is correct, the first. It's part of that step that we want to complete. Uh, but we got to play good every day. You've always said that we team really pulled through pretty quickly. Uh, to start the game, and I kind of got after him about it. Uh, you, you, you can't come out any day 
uh, with whoever you're playing and, and take anybody lightly. We this weekend, everybody's tired, kids, and proud of the fact that they they fought through it. So I, I'm looking back behind us, and I see that uh, Bratcher is one of our players of the game. I, I'm just going to say it doesn't matter whatever you want to do. but want to parade them no, out there. I, we do. We we don't need to let up. We don't need to. All right, head coach John David Patillo joining us live, and let's get the players of the game to come over here, and let's talk about this game here today. What happened? We'll get you turned around. Please, the camera there. There you Here in this ball game, come together, and they would not. You guys would not be denied. I mean, yeah, it's, we the game started feeling pretty good. <laughs> Just so you know, Patillo used that on me last week. That was pretty. I mean, for this team, honestly. Um, who uh, Gulf Shores is. You guys want to be conference champions. I think today threw about 50 pitches all together today, and you guys really would not be the night. Bratcher did a very good job tonight. He definitely deserved this win. And going the whole game, I feel pretty good because I've been like one RBI off all season of MVP, so I feel pretty good right now. Well, go enjoy kind of us uh, saying what we're going to do today. You know, not really much. I, I can't really speak on it right now, but you know, that was just getting me going and amped up. So I was skiing out there on the on the mound, and you guys had nine big runs on just three hits, six. And just you know, not being able to hit much better approaches uh, at the at the box to be able to get runs in. I tell you what, Friday is a big game against Cape Central. Uh, the other player of the game. Okay, so don't run off too much. Yes, sir. I just want to thank all the people. Thank you. You betcha, Dylan Bratcher, our player of the game. And right now, we'll throw it back to you, Tim. This is the Southeast signing. our players of the game 11th win on the season and now go four in a minute here before we get out of here air notre dame one run on just two by kate huffman two by nuns here today poplar bluff got eight hits means our next game is coming up on on bulls are looking to go five and oh Every game begins at 4 30 or i'm sorry on the tigers out of kick it out to the ball field on friday Make sure that Tim Hicks on the camera. I'm Fred Dame. Our ball game is being brought to, brought to you by Larry Hillis Dodge, I Care Specialist, Christian Russians Towing, Whitworth Gift. Once again, our final score here this coming up on Friday. Make sure until thanks again for tuning in.